Alright guys, I want to do a little video on this garden sprayer. I used one of these at one of my customers' house and I really like it. And I have been having a hard time finding a good sprayer that I like that stood up. A lot of the sprayers that got the trigger, they end up, the triggers end up binding and um, they just don't last. And she's like, she's always working around the garden and around the, around the house with plants. And hers is like 15 years old and it's still standing up. So, um, I use it to wash a condenser. And it was really nice. Um, it's got an on-off thing right here. That shuts it off. That turns it on. It's got a volume control here, which is, you know, for pressure, higher or lower. And then this would this would adjust the spray, and we'll take it out and we'll we'll give it a test run. But I know these really work good. I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you could buy this. Um, but you buy this, and this thing will last you a long time. You don't have to worry about the trigger binding, and it gives a nice a nice flow for washing your cars or a condensing unit or gardening or whatever you want. So I recently just um. Boosted up my pressure in my house, so I put a, a little booster system in. So I run like 60 pounds of water pressure. So this thing's going to really push out a lot of water. Um, it's going to really give a nice, nice flow. But if you have like 50 pounds of water pressure or 45, you know, obviously it's not going to push out as much water as if you had 60. Um, depends on your water pressure in your house. But I, I have 60 constant water pressure here now. And my house after I put a booster pump in, so this thing's gonna really, this thing's gonna really produce a lot of, you know, a lot of water flow. Um, is what I want. But we'll go out. We'll take it for a test run outside. I'll show you what it's like. And again, you know, this is how you shut it off. On. That's the trigger, right there. It's got like a little ball valve in there, and it's heavy duty. It's all rubber. You know, you could beat it up, throw it around. It's not gonna, it's not gonna break. Um, the only reason why I'm doing this review is I bought, I bought two of them. No one sent them to me. Um, I just found that it's, it's a real good sprayer, and I, I think it's worth doing a review about um, to let people know about them. I've always had a problem with, with different sprayers. Like I said, I have, I've been through a lot of them, especially the ones with the triggers. You know, the ones with the handles and uh, the trigger always seems that that mechanism always seems to bind up and then the handles, they never work right. You know, like I said, this lady had one of these for 15 years and it's still, it's still fine. It's all scratched and everything, but man, when I used it on the condenser, I was impressed with it. So we'll take it outside and we'll give it a test run. I'll show you what it does. All right, you guys, you can see this one here, which is I use in my truck. And push it in. See how it sticks. It's starting to bind up. That's the only these things they don't last. Watch, see. See how it comes out slow. I got this one that I use, and I got another one in here that I use that was decent, you know. But it's the it's the push kind. I have used these in the past. They're, they're decent, you know. But that other one is much better. I'm going to show you what the flow is like. But you can see what I mean by these things. They just, they don't last. They just. They just don't last. That's been my uh, my issue with these trigger type. Alright, so the faucet I got is just a regular, you know, frost free faucet. And this is the, the one of the one I bought two. It's the same unit. We'll try to give it the old Gundy, see if we get some shots, show you what it's like. Alright, guys, I'll try to see. That's off. This thing, will, this thing will really put out, man. Nice 
this thing, this thing puts out. Get you over to the condenser and show you what it's like. Alright, let's see if we could um so this thing really this thing does a this thing does a great job of cleaning cleaning the units. You can see it's got a it's got a lot of gundy. You wanna shut it off? You just shut it off like that. And this trigger is not gonna, you know, um, stick or nothing. We've got, plenty, we've got plenty of spraying power. It's a nice unit. Like I said, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm doing this on my own. This thing's, you know, she's got some... She's definitely a nice hose. Definitely got some good spraying action. I gotta keep this down, the birds like coming over here and leaving some landmines on my uh, my unit here, so definitely a nice unit. You guys can see the spray pattern. Boom off. Definitely a nice unit, you know. I'm probably 15 away, 15 feet away from the truck, so. Definitely a nice unit. There ain't no doubt about it. So. I just figured I'd do a quick little review of it. This is what I'm going to start carrying in my truck. Yeah, so I'm gonna have I'll have one in my truck and one at the house. And like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below uh, where you could get one if you want one. But it's a nice unit. I like the shut off. I like how it's all heavy duty rubber. And, uh, Like I said, that uh, one lady that I worked at her house, she had one, and she, she was all scratched up. Thing lasted a long time. It was 15 years old, she said, and it's still fine, so. It's kind of a little different type of video, different review.